Hey guys, welcome back. This is Otaku Gamer, and you're watching Let's Play Bastion. In the last episode, we found a new friend! Zia! Oh, okay. Alright, first let's talk to Rox. Can you read any of this? Do these charts and formulas mean anything to you? If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. What? What do you mean? There, there are secrets in that book? Alright. Zulf, what about you? What do you make of these drawings and diagrams? Isn't this written in your native language? A scientific journal written in Zulf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Too much, huh? Alright. What about you, Zia? Ancient spices. Eating this stuff was like a rite of passage in the city. Did the Ura like it? Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Okay. And what about the bronze spyglass? Not much to see out there beyond the bastion, but maybe you'll find something. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Alright. Uh, Marshal's badge. Did the Marshals ever give you any trouble? You seem worried whenever you see this badge. Girl tried to run away from home one time. But the Marshals stopped that, didn't they? Okay. And about about the hard hidebound journal. Traditional Ura script was outlawed in the city. Is this your handwriting? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Oh, your father's journal. Okay. Well. Anyway, we got a core to put in the monument. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. One core left? Does that mean we're almost done with the game? No, we're not almost done with the game. We still got a bit left. Uh, I, I honestly, I couldn't tell you how much left, but we're, we're, at best, we're about halfway through the game. That's my guess. Of course, it's been a couple years since I played it, so I might be completely wrong. Anyway, let's build this shrine, shall we? All right. Behold, the Pantheon. Pantheon, huh? All right, so now we can finally turn off Pith if we want. We also have Akobi, goddess of oath and abandon. Foes shall have vengeance in the throes of defeat. No one bound the chastened maid save for herself. Her shackle, oh, excuse me, uh, her shackles are of her own design. All right. Oh wait, Pith is not turned on. I thought Pith has been turned on this whole time. Well, I'm gonna turn him back on. And we can also turn on a Kobe. A Kobe. And now we get 15%. But uh, I don't really want a Kobe, so let's leave that off. We have a whole bunch of others, but we haven't unlocked the idols yet. I think we have to buy them, actually. Oop. Been meaning to put up some guards. You really rails. should. I've fallen like 50 times. All right, let's see what we have in the lost and found. Uh, yeah, we buy a few of them anyway. Jevil, god of health and atrophy. Foes shall gain resilience to physical harm, so they they, they take more hits to kill. Half the tower keeper's face is that of a youth in his prime, and the other an old man. All right. What about hence? Goddess of pain and pleasure. Foes shall strike with greater ferocity, so they do more damage. They say the veiled widow is smiling beneath her robes. Her body all scratches and scars. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not gonna buy any of them because that would use up all my fragments. Uh. Hmm. Have we unlocked any new spirits? I doubt it, but maybe. Nope, no, we have not. Okay. Stab synth is like drinking a cool breeze. Just don't go spitting needles everywhere. I'd prefer not to, because if I'm spitting needles, that means I've been hit. Uh, we don't have enough fragments to upgrade either of these. Alright, well, it looks like... We don't really have much to do in the Bastion, so we're going to go and do another level. We track the final core beyond the city to the wilds. It's in the wilds, huh? Uh, we still have all these challenges to do. Um, but anyway. The wild outskirts. Core detected. An expeditionary team aimed to use it to tame these lands, but went missing. That's the edge of the wilds, where Jawson and his boys disappeared. All right. Let's go there. Complete vigils in the memorial to earn additional fragments. Yep. The wild unknown. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. 
And I forgot to turn my shotgun damage back on. Damn it, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I was right there, too. I was right at the menu. Whatever. Alright, let's destroy some things, just to make up for it, because I'm angry. Hidden stash. Dueling pistols! Know what's better than having a sling a pistol in a fight? Alright, so... Having two. You can just hold it down and you'll fire slowly, or... Hang on, let me reload. You can press it rapidly to fire quicker. Kids faster than a slinger with those guns. Yep. Savage things lurking at every turn. Oh, 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 god, 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 okay. Tapping rapidly is my specialty. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. I've been playing games a long time, and so many games require you to rapidly press a button. Alright, hold the shield up until they stop, and then fire, fire, fire. Whoop. Good thing pin cushions can't see with it. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. Okay, good. Phew. Alright, come on. Around the corner. There we go. Pecker's got the core, like they're built a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. Alright. I need more ammo for this thing. They shouldn't have let the guard down. That's probably one of the upgrades is more ammo, but I need more. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out is going to be what another. What do you mean? Can't I just go back the way he I came? He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without Can't a fight. Can't I just go back the way I came? Probably not. Yeah, I definitely need more ammo. Wallflowers survived the calamity. Alright, these flowers, if they get hit, will go into their little shield thing. Let me try something. Nope, that did not work. I probably failed to do it right. There we go. Alright, those are easily killed with counters. Can I not destroy these? Okay. Well, I can destroy that. And those. And that. I want to destroy these things. Because I like dis disrespecting an elephant graveyard. If there's one thing Lion King taught me, it's disrespect elephant graveyards. They, they are just begging to be disrespected. Alright. Fire, fire, fire. Cool. Is that an arsenal? That is an arsenal. Slinger Jawson's old outpost is all that's left of him. Alright, as fun as the dueling pistols are, uh, okay, oh right, I haven't uh, been reading these. Um, War Machete, uh, throwing attack compensates for short melee range. Uh, the Yura once nearly sacked the city with these savage blades, which gave the city's missionaries a healthy respect for them. Scrap Musket, a wide angle ranged weapon, knockback effect compensates for limited range. A mass produced version of the very first Celandian firearm said to be a true terror. It belches searing clouds of jagged metal. And now the dueling pistols. Dual ranged weapons. Variable fire rate limited by the user's own speed. Small enough to be used in pairs, these pistols grew in popularity beyond the walls as Ura ambushes mounted. I want my musket back. Thank you. Okay, can I... Give me scrap salvo. Alright, sorry, I, I like to read all of the little descriptions, because they're pretty cool. Kid sticks to his old standby. Yep. Give, give me my shotgun. I like my shotgun. Yeah, there we go. Destroys things a lot easier than the dueling pistols. Maybe once I upgrade the pistols, I'll use them more, but they just... Oh, shipment. A handful of windbag shipments made it out this far. Why did I click on that? Why did I click on that if it was just going to summon enemies? I suppose because enemies are fragments and experience. Yeah, see, much easier with the shotgun. Alright. These guys are easy to avoid. They only fire in, like, an octagonal pattern. So you just stand in their blind spot and you're good to go. Something greasy. Ooh. What is this? Oh, and we didn't look at something wrong either. either. Um... A flake of unusual rock unseen prior to the calamity. It writhes at the slightest touch, yet feels like bone, only heavier. And something greasy. An upgrade for the dueling pistols. A tin of rattletail oil, a mechanical lubricant, extracted from a species of subterranean pest. Did we look at something foul? No, we didn't. A rag smothered in 
cauldron's ash, highly volatile. This rank-smelling fuel lasts long and burns clean. Okay. Jeez, we have so much in here. Alright, anyway. Let's destroy this stuff. Come on, die. Die quicker. Die quicker. I wish I had the damage upgrade. Don't ever turn your back on the pin cushion. I, I definitely need to get the damage upgrade, because this is ridiculous. Die. At least he died quickly. The kids roused up half the wild. Oh, have I? I thought I killed half the wilds by now. Whoop. No, don't you dare. I'm not I'm not a pincushion. You can't just keep attacking me. Alright, just keep attacking these guys. Until they die. Which takes a little bit. But that's fine, we're not in any rush. A little more, there we go. Then kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Being watched? Not by me, by a lunkhead. And lunkheads ain't fond of two-legged animals. Huh. Alright. Ow. Heal. Okay, lunkheads, they have a shield on their head. Hit him anywhere but the hind quarters and you only make him mad. Yeah, see? You have to hit them from behind, because otherwise you won't do damage. Come on. There we go. Unless you have a piercing weapon. Alright, minecart. There was I could I could have Oh, I, I missed my chance. He was already saying something and I, I clicked it and then I lost the minecart dialogue. That's fine. Unusual rock. Sees a smooth black stone coughed up by the calamity. Be seeing plenty more. Alrighty then. Give me that. Sandbag. The wilds already reclaimed this place. Something foul. Cool. Alrighty then. Just keep blowing stuff up. He's anxious to get back. I am? I'm not. I like blowing shit up. Admittedly, I wish I had the damage upgrade. You know what? Yeah, let's go get the damage upgrade. After all... He's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no. It ain't. Not by a long shot. Zia shares Zulf's Ura ethnicity, but unlike him, she was born and raised in Ceylandia. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zulf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zulf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says, but I will not. What? And with that, Zulf leaves us here, alone. What are you talking about? Fractured monument? No! He did not destroy our monument! Evidence of Zulf's rage against the Bastion. Something brought out a flash of violence in the man. He attacked rocks and severely damaged the monument, then fled in anger. No, you destroyed our monument? <sighs> rocks, are you hurt? What happened back there? Zulf cursed the city, cursed the bastion, cursed me, said he was going home. All right. What about you, Zia? Are you all right? What exactly did Zulf do? When Zulf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Oh man! Well, we can put the core so in. banged up the monument pretty bad. But it won't help. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. All right. So we need to get the shards of the monument. We're gonna back. need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Yep. Oh, uh, we still need quite a bit. Um. All right. Earn first prize in the required number of proving grounds. I can't remember if that's all the proving grounds. Hopefully not. But I'm going to have to get that. Um, mementos. We're slowly getting that. Gain the required number of secret techniques. Okay, we're doing that. Raise the required number of land pieces. Well, we're, we're doing that. And defeat the required number of species of beasts. Yep, we'll get those over time. So, lost and found. Uh, I honestly don't really want... Wait, dual decider. This is new. Uh, a single swift, devastating shot aimed straight for the foe's most vulnerable parts. The practice of dueling soon ceased after the slingers unfailed this trick. Huh. 
Whatever. Alright, let me go upgrade my stuff. So we have an upgrade for the dueling pistols. Four ammo capacity. Sweet. Expanded cylinders. Oversized firing cylinders minimize time spent reloading and maximize time spent shooting. Or we have sealed cylinders. Bullet scatter eliminated. Vacuum sealed firing cylinders provide superior accuracy with each shot. I wasn't honest. I honestly didn't notice a decrease in accuracy, so I'm gonna go with the ammo capacity, which is what I did notice. Takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable side And let me go back, get the damage boost. All right. Um, cool. Okay. What else do we need? Um, I think that's about it. Although we really don't have a lot of time left in the episode. Um. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. I am, huh? Oh, okay, we can try the new level. But first, uh, Jawson Bog. Shard detected. It rests somewhere in this fetid overgrown marsh known for driving men mad. The less said about Jawson Bog, the better. That place will eat your mind. Huh. Alright, and we also have Slinger Range. Bounty hunters longing to explore the wild unknown were wise to train here first. Slinger Range is where the city's quickest pistoliers put themselves to the test. Alright, let's do that. Maybe I can get an upgrade. Or hopefully some fragments. <sighs> okay. We have to think fast to survive the wilds. And none can talk faster than the slingers. They could shoot their pistols with the speed of a machine. Alright. Um. Question. This is an upgrade for the bow. I thought we had gotten all the upgrades for the bow. Oh. I don't remember. Maybe we didn't. Oh well. Alright, so what is this challenge? Destroy targets quickly. Okay. They knew just when to start shooting and when to stop. Hold fire. Okay, cool. Those pistols can spit out rounds just as quick as you can pull the trigger. Learning to hold your fire can be its own challenge. Alright, I, I see the scatter now. I'm not always hitting the target. Cool, I got a lot of points for that one. Yeah, I need to get rid of the scatter on this. Alright. At least for this challenge, anyway, I need to get rid of the scatter. That would help a lot. Okay. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I don't know how many there are. The slingers were much quicker than the average pistol. Oh, I only got third prize. Hmm. Alright. Well, score 500 or more. Okay. Well, anyway. Um, hmm. I want the ammo. I definitely want the ammo capacity, but I was noticing, at least for that challenge... Well, even the slingers weren't quick enough to escape. At least for that challenge, I need the spread reduction, the accuracy increase, or whatever. Um, but I'll worry about that later when I actually go back to do more challenges. Uh, in the next episode, we need to go to the new level. And we're gonna do that. Until then, this has been Otaku Gamer. You've been watching Let's Play Bastion, and I'll see you guys next time.